Hello, everyone. Another week uh, in the last seven days looking back, we've done 878 tests. I know that I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, it was over a thousand. So everyone's been very busy. We have uh, 14 uh, short, um, well, sorry, 14 people isolating. And uh, thank God that has not gone up quite as high as we were really, really worried about last week. Um, of that, we have one person who's got a positive PCR test, one who's got a positive LFT test, which will then be retested under a PCR test. We have two staff with symptoms. We have four without, three through this blessed app, which is just a horrible thing. Uh, everybody's, I, you can read it everywhere. Everyone's just deleting it because it's it's just causing massive problems. And then three through NHS track and trace, which is fine. So we've actually, the good news is we have two staff booked in um, who had previously not wanted to have the, in, uh, the, the vaccination. So I think broadly that means we're probably just down to nine staff who have yet to determine to do that. As you'll probably be aware, um, the, gov the government is pushing forward with uh, everybody in social care having a vaccination. I'm not quite sure. I haven't quite understood where it was. It went in front of Parliament. I think it's got to go to the House of Lords now. And then 16 weeks later, um, then everybody will then have to have vaccination. We're obviously encouraging staff to do it. Uh, clearly, it's going to get rolled out and, the, and it's going to be made more and more mandatory, I suspect. We're quite upset that the NHS is not being forced to have these uh, have, have vaccinations. We don't understand why. What? Why only? Care, why? Why only social care? Which, which I think is very un, un, unfortunate, and it just doesn't bear. Just, just doesn't. It's not logical. But anyway, that's life. Um, so look, uh, you know, we we are doing our best with quite a lot of short-term absences, you know, from track and trace and, and, and all of this and symptoms and so on, but it's going pretty well in the homes. It's frustrating because obviously if we had those staff back on COVID, it would be really good because we're trying to get all of the activities reinstated. And as soon as you reinstate them, then some then people go off through track and trace and, and, and other things. So it's, it makes it difficult. I want to just really commend all of those fantastic staff who are picking up extra shifts, our amazing resource team and the fantastic guys at the Social Care Exchange. I think they did 18 shifts last week to help the homes out, which was great and also to give them experience in the homes. So, you know, we are really genuinely one team and, you know, we will get through this. Uh, but anyway, you have fantastic good weather. So enjoy yourselves. Uh, I hope you get out and about and best wishes and catch up with you next week.